Hey, good morning guys, Ashby Dashby Farms. I'm gonna start off with, would you please, please, please subscribe and like the videos, please comment. I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel out and get found with the YouTube algorithm and whenever you do that, it helps me. So I would personally appreciate it. Now on to today's episode. Uh, I got a recent comment on YouTube. Somebody said, can you please show us uh, part of the business side of expanding your honeybees? So guys, just to give you an idea, last year we expanded to a little over 300 colonies and we did really well so far this winter. We haven't had but seven colonies lost out of that. Uh, I'm really, really focused on this business and making sure every colony gets the treatment they need. And so let's talk about sugar. Um, today we are picking up pallets of sugar now. So this is behind me, it's one pallet. It's 100 bags, 25 pounds each, 2,500 pounds of sugar. And that pallet cost me at Walmart $1,609, $1,609. Uh, just to give you an idea, I did not plan on this much sugar in my business model of expansion, and you've got to feed. Uh, you, the first season, we got up to 109 colonies, and I lost 25 of those colonies in August alone, just due to starvation. Um, you have to feed, have to feed, have to feed, and sugar, feeding sucrose syrup is the best thing for the bees. Um, honey itself is full of indigestible solids. It is rougher on the bees. Fortunately, here in the Piedmont of North Carolina, I'm out of Burlington, um, bees can get out pretty regularly. You know, right now it's about 35 degrees out. I'm in a t-shirt because I'm already hot moving these uh, this, this sugar. But basically, um, putting it on the barn, we're going to be using it this week. We've got four feedings to do. That is sometime around the first week of February, middle February, first week of March, and middle March. The first feeding is two to one. The second and third are one to one. And the fourth feed, I'm sorry, I said that. Second and third are feeding one to one, and the fourth feeding will be, and that's mid March, will be 1.5 parts water to one part sugar. Um, it's a real thin syrup, uh, very similar to nectar they would get in nature. So, with all that, um, it's going to require me three and a quarter pallets. I've already done the math, so that's about $5,200 worth of sugar just to get the bees going. Uh, just to get them now that includes making splits. We feed quarts on the nukes of the splits that we take uh, But you got to get them going somehow or else the bees will starve just like cattle or horses or sheep will So whenever you're expanding your bee business make sure whatever you think sugar wise is needed Just go ahead and double your budget for that um, Last fall we went through 12,000 pounds of sugar in a five-week time period from mid-september to October the 20th um, we're feeding the bees once a week, two to one. We sock it to them. We give a total of two gallons to a nuke before winter, which is like uh, maybe a third of a gallon per feeding. Uh, any of the single 10 frames, they get four gallons of two to one and 10 frame double deeps get seven gallons of two to one. That way we don't have to deal with anything over the winter. No sugar bricks, no mountain camp method. We last got into our bees on October the 26th, and I have since done uh, oxalic acid vapor treatments, but we don't crack them open. We don't break them open. Um, whenever we do the OA treatments, I can see who's still alive and who's not. So uh, cool thing is I've got a maple tree here. I got two across the street, and they are just starting to put on some blooms now, which means um, with honeybees, whenever you uh, see a natural incoming pollen flow pollen always comes before the nectar that the queen knows here comes nectar nest next so she needs to start laying and when they increase that brood production the colony will fly through its stores meaning they are going to starve out by march if you do not feed your bees it is that simple um, since we have such a big financial investment in this then i make sure and feed the bees uh very regularly so uh, I'm anticipating this flow. I ordered this sugar two weeks ago. I know my Walmart manager really well. Um, we come by after hours, not when they're real busy. I came by 8.30 last night, picked this up. Um, they just loaded on a pallet uh, right onto the truck. So this morning we'll get in the barn out of the rain and through the week uh, in the evenings we'll go by. We're gonna add in pollen patties. We're gonna add in a gallon of two to one sugar syrup into all the beehives just to give you an idea i've got 150 10 frame double deeps got about 100 10 frame singles and about 50 nukes 
Um, and the nukes are five over five nukes with a feeder in it. So technically it's the same size as a single, but the, the they were late splits. They're all this, you know, they're all like two and three frame beehives right now. So we feed those uh, a half gallon at a time. The singles get a full gallon and the 10 frame double deeps get a gallon and a half of all two to one for the first feeding. Uh, of course, the mid February around Valentine's Day, as well as March 1st feeding says you're going to be one to one. And then uh, we'll be taking splits in, I don't know, maybe the, the 15th, 20th of March, somewhere around there. And um, whenever we do that, they get a real thin syrup sim uh, similar to what you get in nature. So guys, I uh, hope that helps out with, if you're thinking about expanding your bee biz, think about how much sugar you have to sock to them. Um, that'll give you a little bit of planning for going into uh, the fall. So again, back during the fall, I think uh, sugar was about 56 cents a pound at Walmart. Uh, I wanna say I spent about $7,000 for the sugar, uh, putting them up for winter and that's 300 colonies. And then um, this spring, we're planning on spending $5,200 in sugar to get them going, um, as well as making pollen patties. So again, I'm Ashby, Ashby Farms out of Burlington, North Carolina. Guys, please subscribe to the channel, like, comment. It helps me grow. And hopefully then, if you'll do that, other beekeepers can watch my channel and it help them out too. Um, you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.